Heather just gets home and is greeted with Tom fuckery from her abusive AF parents. Hi. Where the fuck were you? Heather, you had us worried sick for you. Tell us where you were. Dad, I was just out with my friends. We weren't doing anything bad. We just walked around the park by the school. You mean those shits I told you not to hang out with? Because they are bad influences on you? Yes. My good friends who actually give a shit about me and my well-being unlike you. You guys are the reason I'm a whore. Shut your fucking mouth. I want you to follow in your mother's footsteps. And become a stripper for me and the family. No, I don't want that. I already have PTSD because you constantly rape me and harass me. And I'm sure if you ask mom she would feel the same. Don't talk to your father about me like that. You're so damn fucking wrong, Heather. I want you to follow in my footsteps. Please do this for the family, Heather. Mom, you are only saying this because Dad said so. Just admit it. You don't want to have your daughter at age 16 to become a whore and a stripper. Shut the fuck up and admit it. You bitch. You are so grounded, young lady. Go to your room and never leave now. Whore. Ah, uh, fuck you. She does so. Basically all the others get home and deal with the same kind of bullshit. Them getting supposedly grounded for hanging out which in my opinion is fucking retarded. But anyway. It cuts to Heather in her room. She decides to call Alex about the shit she talked about with Stacy. Hey Lexi, so me and Stacy were talking about maybe going to Super Spicy's to like hang out and shit. What day do you wanna do that? I'm free possibly tomorrow after school, but if that doesn't work out then definitely next week or so. Yeah probably next week, maybe Monday. I have soccer practice today and tomorrow and a game Friday. So definitely next week I'm free. I think Kat is free next week too. She told me that her and her sister are going doll shopping tomorrow and today. So yeah next week. Cool, I think we are all free on Monday. So that'll be fun, can't wait. See ya tomorrow at school. Bye Heather see ya tomorrow at school. I'm gonna go ask my mom if we can all go out next week on Monday. Bye mom get your sorry ass over here now. What the fuck do you want you slut? So next week me and my friends are going out to Super Spicy's to hang out. It's gonna be next week on Monday. Is it okay with you? Yeah fuck it. Whatever to get you the fuck out of our house. You bitchy ass cunt. Alright shit. Didn't need the attitude. The fuck did I ever do to you? Bitch. Exists under our roof. Alrighty then. It cuts to the next day at school. Heather is still upset over what her mother said to her the previous day. I just don't fucking know what the fuck I did to my mom to make her hate me. I did absolutely nothing wrong. Yeah I know. She's just a bitch who probably has had shit happen to her in the past, but she's taking all that anger and frustration out on you. Which isn't fair at all. You don't deserve to be treated like that Heather. Yeah and my dad says that you guys are bad influences on me, and that I shouldn't hang out with you guys. Okay now that's fucking retarded. What the fuck have we ever done to you to make you feel unsafe or whatever? Nothing. So I don't get what your bitch ass dad's problem is with us, but probably it's nothing and he's just an abusive asshat. Yeah probably. I have to go to class. Do we have lunch together? I know we do. I'm not so sure on Kat and Lexi though. Alright cool. See ya at lunch Stace. They both go into their classrooms. It cuts to Stacy in her classroom. Oh look who decided to come back to school. Ha 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 ha. You should be at home with mommy. What the fuck are you of all people doing here? Telling you to shut the fuck up. And let me learn what I need to for the test we have next week. Oh, so sweet. The bitch wants to learn more so she can study for the test. Get fucked. I'm way more smarter than you could ever be. Shut up Stacy and sit the fuck down. Stop trying to say you're someone when we all know damn fucking well that you're not. Shut up. That's really ironic coming from the kid who gets all D's in the class. You should really take some of your own advice and shut the fuck up. I got more A's in this class than you have had in the past year. So just FYI think with that little pea brain you got there before you open your gay ass mouth boy. That's really mean Stacy you shouldn't talk to a gay person like that. But you can say shit to me and have it be okay. But it's only when I open my mouth and say shit that by the way is factual and true then it's bad. Explain that to me. Um, um, um. You're straight and I'm gay. Therefore, um, um, um it's okay. And this is why you don't have a girlfriend yet ha ha ha. Get fucked. 
Hey, what the fuck was that for? You're annoying me. So there. So that shit happened. It cuts to Heather in hers. Oh, hey, Heather. Hey, so we are all free on Monday, right? Yeah, I think we can all hang out that day. So yeah, what's up? Not too much. Just the same bullshit that's been going on. Ya yeah, know between me and my parents and shit. Don't listen to their shit. They just say that shit to make you feel like a piece of shit and a waste of space. When we all damn well know that's not true. You are more than a slut. Actually scratch that. You ain't a slut. Don't listen to them. Okay. Thanks Lexi. You're the best. Hey a friend's gotta have another friend's back. Am I right? Can't deny it. It now cuts to after school. Cause personally I don't want to have an entire scene of a school day. Cause no one wants to see that shit. Okay so Heather invites Stacy over to hang out with her at her house. Cause A. Because they both aren't doing much. And B. They live close to each other. So walking to each other's houses isn't a problem. So what do you wanna do? Hmm. I don't know. Ooh how about we watch scary movies and sleep over. I pack shit in case we were. And also I could just walk over if I need anything. Perfect. Let's do that and maybe eat popcorn and shit. I have some downstairs. Yes go get that. I'll be waiting here. She does so. And they go to sleep over shit and go to bed. It cuts to the next day and Stacy has just came home after school. She is greeted with Tom Fuckery from her parents as per usual. Hey. Where were you Stacy? Why didn't you come home after school yesterday? I was literally like across the street at Heather's house. What is the big deal? Oh what I just so happened to hang with one of my fucking friends. It was a fucking school night. You are so fucking stupid. Holy fuck. We went wrong somewhere Stacy. I don't know where but somewhere we fucked up. What it's not like you don't let Becca do the exact same thing. Cause I swear to fuck you let her do the exact same thing. Which is retarded as all living shitballs. She's gone out till like what 11 o'clock at night and skip school. And still you don't have a problem with her but you do with me. And she's like what only a couple months older than I am. Don't talk shit about your sister. She's better than you and we all know damn fucking well. So shut the fuck up with the bullshit or we let Becca do more, because it's not true. Not at all. We let you sleep over Alex's house and have a slumber party with all your friends here. Don't say we don't do nothing for your ass. Ah, uh, for once you're actually right. Oh wait you're not. You clearly and out and out stated that you like my sister more than me. She has done nothing for me and was half the reason Cole committed suicide. Let's not forget that, because she is a total biatch to not only me but him as well. Because him and I were in a great relationship siblings wise. We were so fucking close, and she bitches at him and she bitches at me for being like two peas in a pod basically. He couldn't take it anymore so he killed himself with a fucking shotgun in the front of the school. Also because people at school were harassing him. What did you do for him? Tell me. Stacy that's enough. Go to your room now. Oh what can't handle the truth bitch. Grow a thicker skin and stop acting like Cole wasn't a part of the family and one of my best friends basically. Cause little do you stupid asses know but he's partly the reason why I'm so fucking pissed off at you. You did absolutely nothing for him. Not once did you send him to therapy or get him any form of help he so desperately needed. Because you are lazy sacks of dog shit who don't give a flat fuck about your children. Oh my mistake, you pick and choose which kid you like more. Which in my eyes is equally as shitty as not caring about them at all. Don't you dare bring up that boy's name. I mean what? You're not denying the fact that you did literally nothing for him. You didn't get him any help, or therapy, or anything. You just let him suffer. Ya yeah, know, you're partly the cause of his death. So you should think about that before bitching at my ass. Shut the fuck up. I said don't bring up Cole. He was a disrespectful little twat who liked you and we all know damn well that we both hate your ass. So there you have it. And no we didn't do anything for him you're right. Because we wanted you to suffer as much as possible because we hate you that much. Stacy Teresa Miller. What an awful name for an awful person like you. Ow that fucking hurt. What the fuck is wrong with you? I did literally nothing to you. Nothing and what do you do? You bitch and scream at me like I did something wrong. Nothing but exist. Fuck you both. 
Go to hell. Well, that was delightful. No, not really, but anyway, it now cuts to that Monday, and the girls are at the pizzeria enjoying pizza and drinks and shit like that. You know, having a good time. Not even slightly noticing the man in the background. Hey, what's up? Oh, not too much. What's up with you? Oh, yeah, no, the usual. My mom and I fought over the stupidest shit ever. Well, not really stupid, but yeah. Oh my god, when will they ever learn? Yeah. I don't fucking know. They will never learn, I guess. My mom and dad and I were bitching about the death of my older brother Cole and how it's basically their fault that he died in the first place. Which is really annoying, but oh fucking well. I could kinda relate to that. I once had a little brother named Timothy. He although was younger than me, only five, he was still my best friend. We did so much together. I loved him so much. But my dad murdered him out of anger towards me and as a punishment, because I wasn't acting slutty enough for them. The meaning my dad and his abusive ass friends. Oh my god, Heather, that's horrible why the fuck would they do that? No parent should ever and I mean ever make their kid go through that. That's just fucked up in all sorts of ways of fucked up. My god. I gotta agree with Kat. Even though I'm an only child, I could totally see that being fucked. I don't have a sibling of any sort but damn that's fucking harsh. I mean shit. Thanks guys. Yeah, no problem Heather. We always have and will stick together as friends. Even when one of us is going through shit. Thanks guys. This is why we are best friends. I saw that you were gonna say that so I said it for you. You're welcome. Ha 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 ha. I also brought my little sister Clarissa along. We now see a girl brown hair walk in. Hi. I'm Clarissa, Catherine's sister. Hi, I'm Stacy. That's Lexi, and over there is Heather. Hey. Hello. Hi. So my sister has been telling me about you guys. Stacy, I'm really sorry about the whole thing. I'm telling you too. With both of your brothers. Ah, that's so sweet. You really are Kat's sister. Holy shit. Well, we both love cats and cupcakes and shit like that. So I guess you could say so. Your little sister is so fucking cute. I can't fucking stand it. Now you know why we are practically best friends. Ha 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 ha. But seriously, killing your sibling is just fucking mean. Also psychotic is all shit. I'm sorry and Heather same goes to you as well. I feel like with Heather it's worse, but still equally as shitty as far as parenting goes. Damn your parents need to be locked up in some sort of fucking loony bin or something like that. God damn, everyone gets it. Why the fuck don't my parents? Because they're abusive shits. Ah, that's awesome, that your sis is even more fucking nice than all of our parents. Holy jumping horse shit. And she understands us more than they do too. Fuck. We now hear a man's voice from the distance. Hey you guys, I have candy in the back room. Wanna come and see? Hey that guy looks like the guy we saw at the park a couple days ago. What the hell is going on? I'm gonna end this here. I feel like this is a great place to end the episode. This will be continued as episode 5. So stay tuned for that. Also I have a shit ton of ideas for the KD story so stay tuned for that as well, I haven't abandoned that. I've just been working on the sub-series, I will get back to working on it after this is done. So yeah that's pretty exciting. So yeah enjoy fuckers.